Victor, thank you very much, and welcome back to Little Rock, Arkansas, everyone. With Greg Bowser, I'm Lynn Rollins. Greg, as we assess these two teams who finished 10 and 2 each, there were missed opportunities this afternoon and tonight for LSU. The Tigers got to the red zone and could not score touchdowns in the second half. LSU also had opportunities to prevent Arkansas from scoring on big plays, third downs, fourth downs, final play of the first half. Touchdowns came on all three of those occasions. That was a problem tonight for the Tigers. However, Stephen Ridley continues to be one of the best backs in the SEC. He had a big game. Well, coming into the game, LSU knows that Stephen Ridley is the go-to guy. They want to get him to football. And tonight, he played well. I mean, this is one of his two touchdowns. And watch at the end of the run. He just keeps his feet moving, gets in the end zone. And then his next touchdown, I think, is probably the one that's most exciting. He's going to really make one guy miss. Now, watch him just effort. Just gets to the pylon and gets in the end zone. Stephen Ridley had a big night. He got his 13th and 14th touchdown in this football ball game. He also reached the thousand yard mark rushing. So big night, big year for Stephen Ridley. He's always been Mr. Reliable. Big plays for Arkansas. You expect that, but perhaps not as many. Ryan Mallett three times hit receivers for touchdowns. For LSU, just a lot of mistakes where you have receivers running wide open. This was a third down and nine play. Mallett hits the receiver, gets a long touchdown. LSU comes back and they're playing right before the half. You think everybody's in prevent. Keep everything in front of you. What happens? Mallard completes the, completes the pass. Arkansas scores a touchdown with no time left as they go to halftime. Just a huge big play. And then you're coming up. This is a fourth down and about four. Ryan Mallard finds an open receiver for the touchdown. I think that sealed it for Arkansas. There will not be a BCS opportunity for LSU, but still there are many, many attractive bowl games. Arkansas, on the other hand, depending on what happens with Auburn and national championship implications, could go to the Sugar Bowl if the Sugar Bowl so decides they want to stay in the SEC. Well, it's a good possibility that one of these teams may end up in the BCS bowl game anyway at 10-2. and two. So will it be LSU? Will it be Arkansas? That's going to be the thing that will be sorted out over the next couple of days. And there are a lot of things that still happen to play itself out to see what happens. A disappointing finish because LSU had some opportunities, especially in the red zone, could not score only 50% on the season scoring red zone touchdowns. But nonetheless, 10 victories, two losses for both of these teams. There will be more football coming for Arkansas and LSU in a few weeks. That wraps it up from Little Rock. Gentlemen, let's go back to you and the Louisiana Machinery Studios.